Okay, wonderful. Um, we um, also, I, I think it's uh, uh, something notable uh, that uh, both you and your um, your partner, Dr. Greenwood, were both selected for top dentist honors by Phoenix Magazine. And uh, a dental practice may receive that award, or one dentist may receive that award, but it's not often that multiple dentists in the same practice receive that award, and both of you received it, which is quite quite amazing. You definitely. Uh, yeah, deserve congratulations in that respect. We were pleased, thank you. Thank you that. Um, and um, uh, as you talked about on the focusing on prevention, um, there are some things that uh, I think that our listeners should consider before they choose a dentist. And um, I, uh, what, would, uh, what would come to mind uh, uh, as the number one most important thing that somebody should uh, consider before they choose a dentist? You know, this may sound kind of strange, but um, I think they should find out if the dentist enjoys being a dentist. Uh, there's way too many of us who don't. Uh, but for myself, I, I learned early on that I wanted to be a dentist. Uh, I was still in high school. Uh, the example of my family dentist was terrific. Uh, and so he was my mentor. And I found that I have always been pleased that I chose this as a profession. Because not only do I get to fix people's teeth, you know, the mechanical part, but I get to help people every single day. Uh, sometimes we change their lives just a little bit in one appointment. Other times we change their life tremendously by changing their smile. It's really true. I, I know this isn't quite dentistry, but I, I just, um, well, it is dentistry, but it has a lot of surgery to go along with it. But I, I just saw uh, some commercials the other day about uh, fixing cleft palates, and it was they were going around the world on medical missions, and um, it was amazing. The the uh, not only the look changed, but you could see the confidence level in in the people that they did this for. And there was you know, some of them were like young children, some of them were older, um, and uh, and I think we all feel that when we have a smile we're not proud of, and then we have a smile that we are proud of. And I, 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 I have uh, one of those. I <laughs> have seven congenitally missing teeth. I, and I, what that means is I was born without um, uh, yeah, permanent teeth that came, the, the, my baby teeth never uh, were moved out. We had to pull them out and then put in uh, uh, replacements. So uh, during the time that I did not have a good smile versus when I did, huge difference in, in, in my self-confidence. Well, and, and people, you know, they come to me and say, how come my gums are bleeding? I'm trying to do everything I'm supposed to, but every time I floss, they bleed. And when they come back after we show them a few simple things that they can do, and they come back three to five days later, and all that is gone for the first time, that's a very wonderful feeling of accomplishment. And, uh, we have the privilege of doing that quite often. Agreed. And sometimes, for example, my wife, I, I, absolutely beautiful woman, uh, but at uh, 23 years old, she decided she wanted to have braces, and, and, and I said, I'll get them for you, absolutely. However, I don't think you need them. And she got braces, we, we paid for them, and when she was done, I thought she looked exactly the same. However, she felt 100% different. And so um, not only is it, again, the functional side, but it's how people feel about themselves when they're done. And to this day, my wife feels wonderful about herself, and that's all that matters to me. Well, the unrestricted smile is a wonderful thing. Uh, it, it works both outside and inside. Absolutely. I, I, I noticed that um, within, within a couple of days when she took her braces off. <laughs> she was a different person, and we love that. Um, Tell us a little bit about um, your um, uh, bonding, white feelings, white inlays. Why is that so important when they say, you know, everything needs to be white? 